Welcome back to the Ibi Choice YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this lovely petal on a dress. So you can make it as a 2D as you have seen, or you can make it as a 3D standing on its own and you can bend it anyhow you want to form whatever design you want. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. To make this petal leaf design, I'm going to be working with this organza fabric okay for a thicker effect i'm using organza for this tutorial for a thicker effect you can use bobbin it it's like organza too but it is thicker okay so if somebody sent this video to me and asked how we can make these leaves using a transparent fabric like this a c2 fabric so we're going to be working with this organza fabric i'm going to be using this cup chain for embellishment and i'm going to also use this hemming gum for making my organza fabric thicker so and also for 3d effects i'm going to be using this millinery wire and then you need your glue so you can use either your regular fabric glue like this or you can use your glue gun as well so i have my glue gun plugged so the first thing i'm going to do now is to prepare my organza fabric for the leaf design because this is going to be the main design so like i said this organza i'm using is very very soft and so that i can seal the edges as well so that because organza frills a lot i'm going to go ahead now and add this hemming gum in between okay you can see that i just opened it so i'll i'll place my hemming gum like this and tear it so I'm going to go ahead now and fill up all of this space with my hemming gum. Okay, I think we have done something similar on the channel already. So you can see I'm cutting it. So you fill up all of this space. So once you fill it up with your hemming gum, you're going to lay another layer of organza on it. Okay, so in my case, I just divided my organza into two. So I'm just going to use it to cover it up. So you need to fill everything up with your with your hemming glue. So make sure there are no spaces so once you have it there you lay your organza on it and then you go ahead now and iron it flat so when you're ironing it you just press on it bit by bit so that it doesn't shift remember organza moves around a lot you can also add a little bit of steam or you place a fabric on it so that it doesn't burn your fabric so i have done one already i have used i have doubled this organza as you can see it's looking thicker if you touch it you will feel that it is thicker i have done mine by just simply opening it up like this placing my emmy glue and then i applied it to it because this emmy glue need it for it to melt the fabric together so i have done this now and this is what i have so i'm going to be using this fabric now to create my leaf designs so depending on the design you are aiming to get you can cut whatever design that you wish to achieve so you can cut your leaf shape or whatever shape that you desire so you can actually cut directly on your fabric or you can just shape it on maybe a piece of paper like this and then you use that to cut your main fabric so you can have any shape of your choice you can have something like this you can have something wider or whatever it is that you want so i'm just going to go ahead now and cut this pattern on my fabric then i'll show us how i'm going to add the cup chains on them so i have cut out one now i'm just going to use that to cut out the rest of them so like i said you can go for any shape that you want and my emmy gum has already sealed the fabric for me so you can see that the organza edges are sealed it's not frailing like the organza wood you can also use your uh, your soldering iron your soldering iron to trace it out that will also seal it as you are up as you are cutting so i'll go ahead and cut this out now so i have cut out some patterns now the next thing is to apply my cup chains on them so i'm going to be using this b7000 gum you can use any gum of your choice just make sure it's capable of sticking them together so now i'm going to dab my glue on the edges of this pattern so you are going to place it all around then after dabbing it all around you are going to carefully place your after dabbing the glue all around i did one edge first i'm going to bring in my cup chain now and then carefully i'm going to place it 
on the glue that I have to beautify the edges of this pattern so you just see it's transforming it from just a basic fabric to something really beautiful so you arrange it well and then you make sure that it stays on so to maintain this sharp edge that I have I'm not going to continue like this I'm just going to cut this at uh, this last part okay I'm going to cut it off there and then I'm going to place glue on the other side as well and then place my and place my cup chain on it again so if your edges are not too sharp it's if it's round you can just take your cup chain all the way like that but i want mine to be really really sharp that's why i'm placing it this way so i'm going to go ahead now and place the cup chain on the other side as well and we'll see what this looks like so you can see i am gently placing it like this so after placing it on this last edge as well i'm going to raise it and then cut the cup chain off and then i'm going to place it well okay so this is what i have now i can see how beautiful this is looking so if you're going to make it a two deep which is the one that you're just going to glue on your on your outfit you can leave it like this but if you want it standing to have that 3d effect you may need to add your millinery wire on it so it depends on what you want you can add the millinery wire on the side or you can just make it lay at the center point so if you are putting it at the center point you just need to measure the length that you will need then after measuring the length you need you're going to cut it off and then i'm going to use this same glue for it okay because i don't want the candle wax to stain my pattern too much so i'm using this same glue but make sure that the glue that you're working with is able to hold it well for you so if you, after placing it with the glue you can gently tack it again so that you'll be sure that you have secured it so after dabbing it with my glue i'm going to bring in the the wire and then i'm going to place it in between like this okay so after placing it in between the wire i'm going to cut another cup chain and then place it on it so that i can hide this wire because you don't want it to be too obvious so now i'm just holding it down so that it can glue well and once it glues i'm going to cut my the size of the cup chain i'm going to dab it with glue again and then i'm going to use it to cover it up so it's that simple so once i do that now the wire is going to make it stand well on its own it's not going to be falling over like we have it here because the cup chain is quite heavy so it may disturb the it may affect the the strength it may weigh it down a bit but this millinery wire that we have attached to it is made is going to make it stand on its own so it's not yet dry so i'll take my time to make sure it's dry but you can see how it's standing even so it's dry now i'm just going to dab the center part with my glue and then after dabbing it with my glue i'm going to bring in my cup chain again and then i'll gently place it just like i did for the sides so i'm placing it at the center part now and then i'm just holding it so you keep adding your glue and when i get to the end point i'm going to cut off the remaining cup chain and then i'm going to hold on to it very well so here i'm here to add my glue to that part i'm just going to add more glue so you can work with a with a candle gum as well but i don't have power right now so and i don't want to use can use um lighter so that it's not going to spill all over that's why i'm using a gum that i can control okay because you want it to be as neat as possible so once this dries up now this is what your design is going to look like so i'll go ahead now and do the same thing that i have done to this i hope this is focusing well the same thing that i've done to this now i'm going to go ahead and do it to the rest of my cutout and you can see how neat it is both on the upper part and the lower part so this is the other part of this now i can see that it is equally neat so with the wire that you have there you can bend it anyhow you want to have whatever shape it is that you want so you'll be able to control it 
okay so i have made like five of these as we can see and then i added my cup chain so i don't want to waste too much cup chain so i'm just going to be using this for the illustration so i made two to be 3d you can see my my millinery wire in between them so that i can just change it to whatever style that i want so now to arrange this now you can just place this as the as your center like a midrib you're going to either tag this or glue it to your dress then after placing it in the middle you arrange your leaves anyhow you want so for the leaves as well you can tack it to your dress or you can glue it whichever one works for you is fine so you just arrange it like this and then you glue it to the dress or you tack it to the dress so if you want the middle part that's your like your stock if you want it to be 3d as well that's if you are not tacking it onto your dress if you want it to be standing on its own just like what you have here what you just need to do is to glue your millinery wire to it as well so just cut a little bit of your millinery wire you can see i've been i was doing this but my camera was not recording and then you just place your glue you just dab a little bit of your glue on it so like i said you can also use a glue a candle gum but i want something as neat as possible so since my glue is giving me that that's why i just decided to stick with it so after about dabbing it with your glue you can leave it a bit for bridge to blow it and then you place your millinery wire neatly on it so after placing it on it you leave it for a while as well for it to just glue it but a candle gum makes the work easier it just sticks to it instantly but it may be a bit messy that's why i prefer to use this millinery wire that i have you can see that it has glued to it so you just leave it for a while to to stick together the one that i did earlier now i've sticked and i can turn this anyhow i want as you can see so now once you once you use this to once you use your linear wire on the cup chain it makes the cup chain stand on its own you can see a cup chain cannot stand on its own normally but with the wire that we have there it's going to make it stand so now you can apply your 3d on it and they are going to stand so the one without wire for the leaves as well is not going to stand on its own so if i place this now you can see how it's fold how it's bending down but with the one with wire once you place it it's going to stand on its own so you can attach this to your dress anyhow you want so i'm just going to take it to a dress that i already have now and then i'm going to arrange it so that we can see what it looks like and then i'm going to tack it to it like i was explaining earlier you can see i have glued this part to the dress so same way you're just going to glue the leaves anyhow you want to glue them or you can also tag them if that is what you want you can work with whichever design okay so i have gone ahead to glue these leaves to it as you can see so i advise if you want to make yours you can just tack it so that it can stay longer and then for the 3d petals you can see them standing on their own so i also glued it tentatively you can also tack it anywhere you want so with the wire that you have there it, that will enable you to bend it to whatever design that you want and you can even add more petals to this this is the tutorial that's why i just have these little leaves the fuller the better so i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye